The 12th eruption in the Reckonus Peninsula in this uh, decade is over and we see the volcano steaming. It's practically water vapor due to the meteoric uh, water, that is rain, evaporating from the hot lava. Uh, what we are seeing also in this chart, in this seismogram, is practically showing mostly the changes due to the weather and we see that also. But when you plot the locations of the earthquakes which are verified and the depth of them, we found that they have a new concentration in an area which we call as a uh, Krisovic volcanic system. At a depth of the four to five kilometers, we are seeing lots of earthquakes and these earthquakes are shattering and cracking and opening up the area in that uh, near the clear war water uh, lake for uh, a creation of a, a new uh, shallow uh, magma reservoir and for that we have a better tool and that is the gps uh, stations data which shows the distance between the surface and the satellite we measure it accurately and that gives us the land uplift due to the magma accumulation in this uh, setting. So in all the stations, we don't have much rise. But what we have in the sourcing volcanic system is interesting. In the HSO2 station, we have a sharp rise in the uh, GPS uh, data that we have. Magma is accumulating there fast. This is just south of the sourcing uh, volcanic system and south of the geothermal power plant and north of the Grindavik. Elfdorf is also to the slightly to the west of it. So we may have a next eruption in the autumn, November, around that time. But we have also to remember that the Krisovic volcanic system is the next one. It is in the line for eruption.